What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to CNR Views. You got Colt and Rock. Rock. So today we're going to be reviewing the uh, Night Fox 110R night vision binoculars. They look pretty cool. Yeah. Now this is the box they shipped in, uh, just like this. It was all you know, the, all this side or the side was taped up or whatever. You know, it was taped closed, obviously. But uh, at the shipping label here, this is how it came in the box. It was you know sealed really well. The outside of the box has a quick setup guide which is really nice. It seems really useful because uh, very clear step-by-step. Uh, -step. Uh, we'll go through these steps here in a second after we open this up. Owner's manual. Don't need it. <laughs> we probably do need it. a quick setup on the box. <laughs> we don't need it. <laughs> Let's see what we got inside here. All right, we got a strap. We got the case, obviously, and a comes with a helmet mount. And this thing zips open, zips closed. Zippity zip zip zoo! <laughs> and it's one of those uh, hard cases, but it's not like uh, flimsy, you know? And then we got the unit right here. The binos. Fitting in the foam. And it's yeah. cut to fit foam. Yes, it is. So these are like a binocular or monocular or whatever, but it's a seven times optical zoom. So it's built in an optical zoom. There's optical zoom and then there's digital zoom. And it does have a digital zoom as well. I think it's like um, two times, I believe, that you can add up to it. What's really cool is, I don't know if you knew this, uh, this takes video from I here. I didn't know that. Which I didn't you know. You just download or upload or whatever uh, video you take to your computer. Yes. As a matter of fact, speaking of, and I'll have some uh, I'll have some close up and zoom ins on the uh, on all these features what I'm showing you here, but uh, this little flap right here in the front exposes a memory card slot which I have a memory card in there, and it's just a micro SD. Now there is a uh, a limit. Now this is an eight gig. Um, I tried a sixty four and one hundred twenty eight gig in there and it said card error. Uh, in the screen there, you know, when it was on. So when I looked it up, I think it's actually in the manual. I did have to use the manual. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, it said uh, <laughs> there was a card re uh, card limit of like 32 gigs. 32 gigs the yeah. max you can put it is 32. Well, I didn't have anything in between there, so I just put the eight in there. Uh, and then it comes with this nice strap. The it's sling fixed. points or strap points, those are real sturdy. They are, and they're fixed, so they Yeah, move. they're fixed, yes. It also has... A tripod mount. Yes, it does. Which is really nice as well. Yeah. Well, let's let's check out this uh, helmet mount. This uh, this slides on, and um, it has a screw in here. We'll bolt the screws in, just uh, finger tighten, and the thing is tight. I mean, it's secure, it's super <laughs> secure, uh, and it's it's metal, um, really sturdy base that it slides onto. So it seems really really well made. So uh, let's go check it out and see how the features work and how well it lights things up. All right, step one is put batteries in it. It takes four AA batteries, two on each side. I'm putting uh, two on the one side here. And when you close that up, it's really tight. It holds the batteries really snug, which is nice. And it has that little, uh, has that little lever to uh, open up the hatch there for the batteries. All right, and then two on that side. Close it up, and you're good to go. And then you're going to hit the power button right there. You can see that. You hold that until it turns on. All right, so once you power it on, you're going to see a menu screen come up, just like this. All right. And then you want to use these up and down buttons right there that I'm highlighting, and then the enter button to navigate the menu. All right. So you can see here I'm moving that. That's what I'm hitting to move that highlighted. Uh, part down to the area that I want. So I'm going to set the date first and you use the up and down arrows or the buttons up there that I showed you earlier to navigate that. So you go over to your uh, whatever year, month, or day you want to adjust, hit enter on it, and then you'll have those side arrows, arrows come up and then you can adjust the date. You go to time, you can adjust that the same way. All right, once you have your time set, you can go here to power save, and you can see what this is here. If, um, if you turn it on, if you put it on five minutes, it'll shut off after five minutes of non-use, okay? There he is. That looks crazy. Isn't that crazy? Now you can see him peeking out. 
Do you have glasses on? Yeah. It's making his eyes glow. You look like a damn alien, bro. See, there's a log and a damn wheelbarrow over there. This is real life. You can't see shit. And this is IR. Now walk over here. Dude, that's so fucking bright. Look, can't see him. <laughs> All right, guys, we saw how well it worked. Works great. Definitely lights up a lot and zooms in a lot. Appreciate you watching, and we'll see you next time. See y'all.